the Pocket Cast Acquisition, and our favorite podcast players. This is Mac Voices. This edition of Mac Voices is supported by Text Expander by Smile, the makers of world class software. Visit TextExpander.com slash podcast to learn more and download your free demo. Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the talk of the Apple community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, this is the third in a three-part conversation with the Mac Voices Live panel. We started out by talking about streaming video interfaces. We transitioned over into a discussion of the Pegasus software, and that's where we pick it up again this time. And we also, in this episode, talk about the acquisition by Automatic, the publishers of WordPress, of Pocket Casts, the podcast client software. The panel also talks about their favorite podcast software and why they use it. So let's go back and let the panel do the talking. Um, I'm just trying to look it up here. I see. I knew they had acquired Tumblr a while back. Tumblr, right. I was going to say mm-hmm. Tumblr. Right. And that's not a podcast app. I mean, that's no. Uh, that's more of a another publishing platform, a bit more simplified and a bit more st- specifically structured than WordPress right. is. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, it, I'm trying to think there, there are a couple things out there that, well, our friends over at Mac Geek Gab, um, you know, they have a podcast app that if you listen to and you want to uh, give feedback, you can do it right within the app and it tags exactly where in the, while you were listening that you made the comment which helps them, you know, then respond. And I'm wondering if, if having, <coughs> pardon me, an automatic, or excuse me, building that something like that functionality like that into a client could enhance the podcast producer's experience and the ability for interaction. Now that may be a stretch or it may not, I don't know, but it sounded really good. Yeah. You know, the I mean, other thing, the other thing they bought recently was uh, day one. So it wasn't That's a right. podcasting thing. Was it? Oh. Yeah. Right. And uh, and I do recall um, there were people at Automatic that were making comments about how they were planning on making day one really tightly integrated with WordPress. Now, what, what they didn't make clear was if it, it was specifically WordPress.com, meaning automatic right. hosting your WordPress site for you, or if it was WordPress in general, where it's part of self-hosting or automatic doing the hosting. And the day one integration would make a lot of sense from a blogging standpoint, if you are, if you've adopted day one as a journaling. Yeah. Yeah. Option. <laughs> it would be interesting because then they, they, no one would have to look for a back door. They would just automatically go follow you every day. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Um, so they don't have to do a thing. You do the work for them. Yeah. Now, Craig in the chat room is saying that he th- he thought he read something about automatic got pocket casts, and now they're trying to sell it already, but he's not able to find anything. I couldn't either with a real quick search. So I that haven't, may have, I haven't uh, heard that. I, I, I yeah. wouldn't think that the uh, sale would even be final. You'd think in that case, yeah. they'd, just, they'd just cancel it takes a while for these things to to go yeah. through I, you know I, I I thought you know this is amazing that they they these guys sold pocket cast to NPR NPR lost money on it for four <laughs> years and then they can turn around and sell it it's mm-hmm. like well you know I there's hope for my software <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> well, but Jim, you know, as I recall, one of the one of the things I read about that is that they had lost like eight hundred thousand dollars on it. Yeah, and you know, it's like okay, so how do you lose eight hundred thousand dollars on um, podcast software? Salaries, I guess. I guess, but yeah. So yeah. my my program is way more profitable than than that. So clearly, I should be a, a millionaire. <laughs> Uh, well, several you, times over. Call yeah. us over. 
Well, you do have those three Jaguars sitting out front, you know, so. <laughs> I, I, yeah, but animal control I, showing no, up any time now to, to <laughs> wrangle them up and, and get them off to a shelter. <laughs> yeah, you saw I, I had that Jaguar in my in my hand here a few days, minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, I think, I'm not sure if it's a he or a she, but I believe there was a, it made it, it, it made an editorial comment of some kind that will show up in the audio recording. <laughs> it was a he. I mean, the transcript. was a he. Okay. Marmalade. Uh, marmalade. Marmalade. Oh, that's an interesting name. Okay. Well, he saw what what he looks like. It seemed pretty obvious. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. So hi, didn't you see? I'm sorry, Brett. It was legit. My toad said hi to his cat. I did see oh. that. Yeah, oh, I didn't I realize that. that it was. That's what it was doing. But I did see the mm-hmm. toad. I yeah. miss all okay. the good stuff. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not not licking toads. Jeff, you're all the good stuff. <laughs> oh, licking toads. Oh, we're going there now. All right. Oh. Hey, Andrew, did it just get hot in here? <laughs> oh. it's, it's from the Simpsons. Oh. Andrew's, Andrew's doing psych nudes and Brittany is licking toads. This is just, well, if boy. I did show titles, that would be a show title right there. Who's got the shrooms? Oh. So Craig in the chat room, this is maybe a good thing to sort of start to wrap up on. Um, what's everybody's preferred client, podcast client, and why? So let's let's go around the room, and I'll take the, the as usual, the thing has been reordered. So, Andrew, what do you use for podcasts? You know, um, years ago, I, I was using Android devices before I worked for the Mac Observer and Apple website. Um and on Android, I did really love Pocket Cast. But now that I've been using Apple devices, honestly, like I, I tried Overcast and that was okay. But for now, I've just been sticking to the default podcast app. It's kind of boring, I guess. <laughs> okay. No, it's hey, if it works for you, there there is no wrong answer here. Um, Jim? Um, I use Overcast, but I'm 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 not in love with how it organizes stuff. So I'm always thinking maybe I should look at something else, but I never do anything about it. <laughs> okay. And I don't, you know, I, you know, I know it was it, it was unique for a long time because it had like the smart speed and and I don't use any of that. I, you know, I tried doing that and I just. It just drives me nuts. So I, I just listen to everything at, you know, single normal speed with all the, all the space because any of the accelerated modes, I just, after about 10 minutes, I'm just like, I can't stand this. So that, you know, that, that's one of the key features. And it, it, I, I just, I don't use that. So, um, but I, I have a hard time. I have a lot of podcasts and, it's just the way it's organized. It's hard for me to find what I want to listen to next. seems like I'm doing a lot of back and forth and, um, but I'm also just sort of like lazy and haven't actually gone out and done any research. So I just keep using it and it's, you know, it's works fine. It's sounds nice. And, you know, don't miss any podcasts, I guess, you know, recently in the last week or two, apparently the Apple podcast app has been missing podcasts. I read. Has anybody else, has anybody had that problem? I, I saw some things in my RSS feed. Like I think Jason Snell was saying that he was having, you know, some of his listeners were like, you know, why didn't you come out with this podcast last week? And he's like, we did. And apparently Apple, the Apple podcast player was missing episodes. You know, I have read a lot of uh complaints about the podcast app lately missing podcasts like syncing issues but that's why i'm saying like i've personally never seen any issues with it so it's good enough for me frank what do you use i use both overcast and podcast and to tell you true for the life of me i'm not sure which one i always set both of them to only retain the last five episodes of any podcast and off the top of my head, I can't remember it, but I know I went, I go to Mac OS Ken to see what happened today. And I'm, I'm getting podcasts from 2012. When you say podcast, you're talking about the Apple player. 
I don't know if it's the Apple player or Overcast off the top of my head. Like the two you're using are Overcast and Apple's. Yeah. Okay. Now, app, I know Apple's was doing very well with the five, uh, five episode rule that I put in. So it may very well have been Overcast, but it's just so weird. I go to like hit play today, and I have it all set up. Play the you know oldest to newest, but no, never hold more than five episodes. And I went in one day and I look and I'm listening to this episode and I'm going, this stuff doesn't sound right. And then I look at the date and it was somewhere in 2013. I know one thing that I, I wish Overcast had, and maybe it does and somebody can tell me, and I don't know if any others do it, but sometimes I'll be listening to something and then there'll be some other podcast that's like, okay, I want to stop this go listen to the other one and then, and come, then back. come back to it. Now it does remember where I was and that doesn't have that problem, but it doesn't remember that I was listening to it. I have to remember in my head, okay, now I want to go back and to that one, you know, I would like to make a queue or a stack where I could say, okay, save this. Let me do this other one. Gotcha. And then, you know, then show me the list of all the ones that I've partially played and let me just jump right back to one without looking at the whole list of everything yeah. in the in the world. That would be really nice. Depending on how you do it, um, Jim, you might be able to do something like that with some of the playlists. Because I have, I mean, well, spoilers, since, since I'm already into this, I'm, I use Overcast. And I have a playlist for like my, what I consider my, my absolute daily podcast that I need to listen to every day. And then I have a whole other list of these are nice if I ever get around to them. And so I can, you know, I, I can go to my, my daily playlist and listen to those. Then I can jump out to something else if I want and come back to that playlist. And now I'm back to kind of where it was. Now it's not exactly what you're talking about, but it might be something right. you can manage, manage that way. Yeah, I would just um, like to have like a smart playlist of here's stuff you started listening to but never finished. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. That's interesting. Well, there's, um, a, there's an app for you to create. Yeah, exactly. Jeff, what do you use? My podcast app needs are pretty lightweight. So I just use Apple's podcast app. And uh and and I've played around with a bunch of different podcast aggregators or players over the years. And I just keep going back to the simple one, which is podcasts. And it works for me because um, typically what I'm doing is, uh, is checking out a, uh, like a, a bunch of episodes from a show and then going on to the next thing. Um, you know, like, like a podcast where it's a limited series and then that's it. So I, I'm like the most horrible podcast uh, uh, subscriber ever because I end up not subscribing to the things. So I just go and find the specific episodes I want, download those without subscribing. And then when I'm done listening, I just delete them out of the app. That's the smartest listener. Mm. Yeah, maybe that, I've got does, stuff that's like 140 episodes backed up. Does Apple's podcast player do streaming these days? I know it didn't used to. I think it does. Yeah, I think it does. I I'm assuming car. some of the stuff that I've listened to was streaming. Because I usually don't download anything on my uh, mobile devices. Yeah. David, oh. what, what's your choice? Well, I mean, I was a downcast user. I'm going to go all way off the wall here from everybody else's choice. Um, wow. And then, um, and then uh, I decided that I like Pocket Casts, as we've been talking about here. Um, I I like the interface of Pocket Casts. I like the way I can organize all the episodes that I that I want to listen to. I I have I basically. I uh, do Chuck and I, I'd be interesting to see what your daily your daily uh, podcasts that you have on your list. Um, but um, I just have show. a list. 
I mean, I just add a lot of, I mean, I probably have about 70 or 80 different feeds of, of stuff for the way of the technology. And I look through the list and it makes it very easy to get to them. And then I can decide, oh, you know what? That might be something interesting that I want, that I want to find out more about. Um, I like the way you can filter things and, um, and, and, and I like the, the way the interface is. Um, I always, I, I don't know, I found the, the Apple's podcast app to be very cumbersome to, to, to navigate a lot of times, my opinion. Um, and it, it I've, I've found hard to navigate, but you know, now with the, with the, with the paid services, you're, you're almost going to, going to be kind of stuck if you want to be able to listen to anything that's, uh, you know, with the, with the paid podcasts using the Apple podcast app. So, but uh, I'm, uh, I guess, I guess I'm the only one that uses podcast as a full-time uh, daily driver. Hmm, interesting. Brittany, are you a podcast listener and what do you use? I use Overcast. I've been using it long enough that I was grandfathered in to the other things. So I don't actually pay the subscription. I did briefly because I was wanting to listen to educational content without pauses. But um, but now I'm not doing that. So I I just use Overcast like the regular base app. This edition of Mac Voices is supported by Smile, the makers of Text Expander. You already know how Text Expander can make you more productive on your Mac, right? How it can turn a few keystrokes, called a snippet, into a word, a sentence, a paragraph, or a page of text or code. How it ensures that your message is clear, consistent, and correct, whether you use the snippet or any or all of the other members of your team use the snippet. But I want to remind you that Text Expander is available for your iPhone and iPad as well, with those same benefits that you enjoy on your Mac. Using the Text Expander keyboard, you have access to Text Expander power in any app that allows text entry on your iPhone or iPad. Get faster and more efficient in mail, messages, and more. But it gets better. Many of your favorite note taking and writing, task management, and social media iOS and iPad OS apps are already Text Expander enabled. Apps like DevonThink, OmniFocus, Ulysses, Drafts, Bear, and Byword. They all understand the power of Text Expander on the iPhone and iPad, and you should too. Visit TextExpander.com to see the complete list, find out everything that it can do for you, and then download it on the App Store. That's Text Expander for iPhone and iPad by Smile, the makers of world class software at TextExpander.com. Thanks to Text Expander and Smile for their support of Mac Voices. Okay. Well, as, as I said, I use Overcast. And as a couple a couple of you have referenced, I mean, there are two there are two killer features for me. Three really, the the ability to the the, the multi speed thing is the algorithm is the best I've found, no question. Absolutely. The, yeah, oh, the, yeah, the ability to take out the pauses, um, you know, it can flatten things out a little bit, but it also speeds things up. Um, but the one of the big ones is that I can upload since I'm a, an Overcast subscriber. I can upload a substantial amount of audio content from other sources and it will apply those same speed and silence algorithms to it. So I can march through those at the same speed that I'm accustomed to. And, and that those to me are the killer features because I've, I pretty much listen to everything now at two, two times speed and I can do some things at two and a half speed. And that means I can get through a lot more material, whether it's, uh, pardon me, podcasts or um, just regular other content. Yeah, you can a lot faster do that now. Yeah, it's and it's, certain, I mean, certain voices have certain cadences that seem to lend themselves to two speed or one and a half speed. And there's like the only time I listen to a regular speed thing if it's in an entertainment program, like uh, who listens to Paula Poundstone? I want to hear her timing. She's a comic. Now, when I listen to the Mac OS Ken, I had to slowly creep up to get to two time, but I can understand completely what's Ken saying now at two speed. But you just said it, Frank. You don't just jump to two to, to two X right away. And that's that's something I like with Overcast. You can just ease ease your way up and get used to it and train yourself a little bit. Yeah. And does it take a while? Absolutely. But to me, the benefits are, are amazing because now I can occasionally get to an audio book that I would never, never, ever get to either audio book or to read for enjoyment. 
and get through it. And that's one thing off my list. So, mm. you know, it's. We use Audible. It's, yes, I do use Audible. And, and their, their, their speed thing is pretty good too. Their, their multi speed, not as good as Overcast, but still pretty good. So, yeah, the, I mean, again, there were no right answers to this question. It's just, you know, what the preferences were and why. So um, I'm just there, saying, you know, there, oh, Rit, sorry. I don't know what I don't know about the native Apple app, actually, and maybe I should. But I do like the way that Overcast has implemented shortcuts because it means I can actually include listening to a particular mm. playlist as a part of my routines mm. that I'm already enacting with shortcuts. It's especially good for something. I have no idea. Like I was saying, I yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know about the Apple one because I was already yeah. in shortcut or already in overcast before shortcuts with shortcuts. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's especially good for me for playlists of podcasts that are not fun, but I should listen to. And so I'll put it as part of my routine and then it just automatically starts playing which means I'm going to listen more likely than starting it myself. You will listen. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, the podcast app, I'm looking right now, Brittany. There yeah. are quite a few actions. So you could probably, if if you wanted to use a podcast app, mm -hmm. uh, uh, use that with the different routines you have. And so that, kind of funny that uh, I... doesn't have playlists, does it? Let's see. Uh Subscribe, uh, details, get episode of podcast, play podcast. Hmm. No, I, uh, not playlist specifically, unless it's a parameter in one of the, uh, in, in one of these actions. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. A anyway. Yeah. If you could do that, but that's, that's the way I use it. Um, that's that's specialized and well but you know again that that's i mean that's what i love about these discussions is everybody's coming at it from a different angle um and mm -hmm. you know having different use cases um let's see what's what's i'm catching up with the chat room um craig says he agrees with david so i assume that means about pocket cast um yep yeah so um, good discussion, guys. Thank you. I, I really didn't expect us to get that deep into it, but uh, it's, you know, it is something that everybody here, it's near and dear to their hearts. So let's go around the room, let folks know where they can find you when you're not here and maybe where they can find you if you, you are a podcaster, so they can listen to you uh, when you're not here. Um, so again, I'll take it uh, as it comes right now, but I'm going to reverse it from the bottom up. So Brittany, that puts you up first. Where can folks find you? Hi, my website is conquer.consulting. I'm on Twitter at ADD Liberator. And thanks to many of you folks on uh, on YouTube, I am also ADD Liberator. Great. Thank you for being here, Brittany. We really yeah. appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Mr. David Ginsburg, where can folks find you? Find me on In Touch with iOS at intouchwithios.com. Everything works out okay. I think Chuck's going to be on the show this week. Um, you can also find me on uh, the Mac show on the British Tech Network. I'll be back after my vacation. I can't wait to hang out with the guys again and the gals. And um, you can find me find my, me on my YouTube page, which is Dave G 65 You search for that. And on Twitter, at Dave G 65 And uh, thanks, as always, for having me. Thank you, David. Mr. Gamut, uh, late, but always welcome. Where can folks find you? Well, I, I was working on uh, being fashionably late, and uh, <laughs> uh, did I nail it? I kind of think I nailed it. Yeah, yeah you nailed it. You nailed it. <laughs> yeah. Um, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram, Jay Gamut, both places. On YouTube, I'm youtube.com slash Jay Gamut. And uh, 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 oftentimes, here late but better than never on uh, mac voices live on uh thursdays the big show on fridays the mac show and um, um uh, i get around if you google me you'll probably be surprised or not some of the places you find me police bloggers what <laughs> what, ha what happens if we duck what happens if we duck duck go you jeff 
Oh, let's oh. see. I don't know. <laughs> it's actually my default. You get uh, pavers. You have to buy pavers. <laughs> <laughs> golfing pavers there you go there you go huh i I, okay i'm totally interrupting because why not so i'm in DuckDuckGo and i type my name in and the suggestions are jeff gamut jeff gamut logging jeff gamut boulder colorado i just didn't want to know that I want to My know top about is Gamut YouTube login. and DuckDuckGo. So, yeah, same thing. And then a bunch of Mac voices, actually. <laughs> huh. Twitter, okay. top, then LinkedIn. Yeah. yeah. But there's apparently a LinkedIn gentleman who's um, is another Jeff Gamut, and I'm not going to mention where he where he is employed, just because <laughs> of privacy, but. <laughs> Yeah, I, I found a Jeff Gamut um, <laughs> once when I when I was doing a, a search where he's um, like a like a bodybuilder or something and teaches people how to uh, um, like have build big, their bodies build build their bodies yeah yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that that That's thing where, where the they're, they're like oh me so strong you know that. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> you know why I'm gonna why I'm keeping continuing to work under my maiden name, right? You try no. to Google my past mistakes as a Smith. Mm. Well, <laughs> totally, totally makes sense. I mean that that's why I've started uh, uh, using the name Brittany Smith for all the stuff I do online. <laughs> oh. Thanks. Oh. Thanks. Oh. So in other words, Brittany, you have the ultimate defense against Pegasus. You just can't be found because of all the, the you, you, you're, the, you're that one lone tree in and the forest. And if you spell it wrong, you'll find a whole other set of Brittany Smiths. Yeah. Wow. It's a bit it's the, a the bit gift common. that keeps on giving. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. See, according Frank to Petrie. Duck, Duck, Doe, apparently I died last December. Did you? I am oh, so sorry to hear that, we're Jim. Sorry, Jim. But we're so Thank sorry you for, for joining your loss. us anyway. That was we're, so we're, nice of you. And, where do we send flowers? Interesting that I started showing up here just a month later. Mm. <laughs> so you came. You that's what you the came conspiracy back just theories for us. are made of. You came back just for us. Thank you, Jim. Oh man, <laughs> Frank Petrie, where can folks find you? Well, you guys are making me feel like odd man out. So I am now working on building a podcast. Uh, You can find me on Screencast Online once a month uh, in their magazine. You can find me here every Tuesday night. I'm on Twitter at uh, FPetrie and on Instagram at P-H-R-A-N-K-Y. Thank you, Frank. Good to have you as always. Jim, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, are you evidence of resurrection? Is that what's going on here? <laughs> so it appears that you cannot find me on DuckDuckGo. <laughs> That's a certain collection. I've gone through several pages and I, you know, you think my name would be more Google proof than Brittany's, but it's, it's mine's pretty, mine's pretty Google proof. Um, but you can find me at ProView.com, as always, and uh, Jim ProView Jim on Twitter, and uh, a new place you can find me. You can find me here, and you can find me at Core Coffee if you're a developer. Every other week, there's a meetup. It's out of Vancouver, and that's yeah. kind of fun. Sunday mornings, so if you're a developer, come come join us there. I, I assume that's a, a Zoom or something of that. It's nature. actually. I, say, I didn't think you were in Vancouver, so. Yeah. It's <laughs> it's it's not Zoom. They're using Google, uh, whatever the Google Meet thing yeah. is. Yeah, but the Kleenex yeah. way of saying Zoom. Right, yeah, but it's that, but it's mm. but it's actually you know it's actually not it's not Zoom. It's it's the Google one. Right. They and, used to be hangouts, and it's, and it's now it's I think else. Meet. I think it's me. I, I don't know if it's from Hangouts, yeah. it, and it's very Zoom-ish. It looks just well, like Zoom. It's got a grid. It's got, it's got um, breakout rooms. It's got um, chat. 
Um, it's also got video, I recall, because so, I, I so know it's my the daughter web meeting lives in Vancouver. Tissue. Excuse me? What, Jeff? I, I'm playing off, uh, I'm riffing off of Britain. Oh. Oh, 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 right, 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 right. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's I I discovered it during Dub Dub. They had it was on the list of events. They had one, and it like turned out I was like, oh, it's it's a regular event. Um, I guess originally it was they met at coffee shops in Vancouver and may do that in the future again. But uh, for the last uh, year and a half, they've been doing it online, and. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a neat group. It's fun. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Last but absolutely not least, the man who's going to be riding the winged horse for a while, Mr. Andrew Hoare. Where can folks find you? You know, that's true. So uh, first, you can definitely find me on Twitter at Andrew or not. Uh, you can find some of my writing if you type in MacObserver.com. And I'm writing about Apple, privacy, security. Uh, speaking of podcasts, you can find me on, um, we, we do have a podcast we do every day. I'm usually on the Friday one, that is Security Friday. And yes, uh, this Friday, we will be talking more about Pegasus. <laughs> yeah, there'll probably be more to say by then too. Yeah. Unfor unfortunately. Thanks for being here, Andrew. Thanks for enlightening us uh, and maybe making us all feel a little bit better. Everybody yeah, except for Jeff, we, we know he's the target. So, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Folks, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices Live. We do this Tuesday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. We'd love to have you join us, just like the folks in the chat room did tonight. Chat room, thank you so much for being here, and thank you for uh, participating. We always appreciate it, and we always appreciate all the folks who join us live, even if they prefer to stay in hiding. Who knows? They may be targets of Pegasus. I don't know. Until the next time, and as always, thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Facebook group or like our Facebook page and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard and on the web. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us through either our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash macvoices or by making a one-time donation via the PayPal link on our front page and in the show notes of each episode. You will join these fine people who help bring you Mac Voices. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.